Hey guys, welcome back to the series. Uh, last time we had a little bit of luck with some money, and uh, this time I actually have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. And by surprise, you can see by this spot in my inventory, I did get a beginner clue for you guys. Um, it wasn't a uh, first step conclusion, uh, completion, I don't think. I think it was uh, I had a trek back and forth between Varric and Lumbridge, which is why my run energy is so low, but... Uh, yeah, I actually have a couple things to show you guys, so I have a little little surprise at the Grand Exchange. So, when we trot our way over there, I'll open up this casket, and I'll show you guys how I've actually managed to make some money off dyes. Uh, if you guys remember, I believe in the last episode, I bought a blue dye for 1,000 GP, and that was insanely steep, uh, never doing that again. So, uh, I decided to actually invest in some, and I made 27. And I sold them for a thousand each. Now you can buy these for it's twenty coins for two woad leaves, and then two or no five coins to make it. So really, you're making nine hundred and seventy-five GP per die, which is insane. Now see, I also have some chef's hat and uh, goblin mail, but uh, that was just from uh, beginner clue hunting. So twenty-seven k, that's crazy. Bringing up to our total to that's thirty-three k. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, now it's time to actually get to the good stuff. So, I thought the Black Eat Warhammer was a unique. I might be wrong on that, but I could have sworn that they were. I mean, I can see if uh, I'll buy an... I know that there's some account restrictions, so... I'll see if I can buy an Oak Log and then... Uh, see if I can sell it. I don't really care about the money loss there, but will it tell me? Yeah, okay. Your account will be restricted for trading until your account has 10 quest points. We easily have that at 16. Skill total of 100, which we definitely have. 115, even. We have not spent 20 hours in game, though. And that is unfortunate. We're at 6 hours. That's not bad, but... Yeah, we gotta wait a little bit longer, so I guess I'll just throw that in the bank right now. But the Black Warhammer is something, to say the least. Uh throw this in the uh, the old mining tab, but uh, nice, got some chaos runes. That's a start to the uh, little magic st section here, but yeah, I basically what I did, uh, I just fire striked a bunch of goblins until I got to 25 magic, so now if I buy some, I'm going to make a pretty big investment into law runes right now. So I already have a uh, air staff, so I can really teleport whenever I need to, but I wanted to buy about 40 of them. I don't care how much I pay for them. I just need them, so... Nice, now we can teleport to Varric whenever we need. So I'll just do this real quick. Forgot I don't need this. Pop that there. Perfect. Okay, let's, let's see if I can uh, get some money off of this. I don't really think it's... Yeah, see, I don't, to, I don't really think it's needed for anything. Yeah, okay, 714 GP for that. That's not, not a bad beginner clue, considering our first one was literally 6 GP. But, uh, yeah, so I either want to do Imp Hunter with these beads. I actually managed to get one of them uh, off camera, but uh, I think we might want to do either Prince Alley Rescue or I was maybe thinking about, uh, about, uh, what's it called again? Below Ice Mountain. Let me just pull up the guide here real quick for uh, Below Ice Mountain and we'll do that here. Had it already ready, so... Valador teleport, Varrock teleport. Energy potions, yikes. Yeah, definitely don't have that. Yeah, you need 10 mining, which we have. So, yeah, and I definitely have some uh, pickaxe upgrades here. So I'm going to grab the steel pick. Um, I kind of wish I got uh, the mining level to uh, equip, or the uh, attack level to equip this, but I think we're just going to do uh, Below Ice Mountain right now. I need bread, knife, and a beer. Oh, and a cook, cook meat. Bread, knife, beer, and cooked and meat. Grab the cash stack. Bread. Knife. I can't believe I'm buying a knife, but. And I know there's a cooked meat spawn right nearby, but I'd rather just have it on me. Meat. Cooked meat. I think there was one more. It's like a red dye or something? No. You need a beer. That's what it is. Beer. I'll collect these bad boys. Grab some beer. Perfect. 
So drop the cash deck, or I'll probably keep like a hundred on me or something, but. Let's see. Uh, and I wanted to get a, a Varric teleport actually too, yes. So I will grab this, equip it, that's examine. And a fire rune. Perfect. So we are in business, guys. We can actually go do Below Ice Mountain now. So Willow, I know where she is. Uh, we're going to have to run out of here real quick, but uh, this should our run energy should be pretty good right now. And I do have to say, while we're running over there again, thanks so much for the uh, support on the series so far. Uh, I'm going to try to do uh, daily uploads at the very least. I've just kind of been throwing out videos anytime I had them done, but... Uh, Honestly, I don't really think I can keep up with my upload speed. I posted three episodes on the first day, so probably won't be doing that any longer, but who's this guy? That's a bot. Unfortunate. But we'll run around here real quick, head up to Willow. Yeah, I know the cooked meat spawns just up here, but yeah. So you're supposed to co or, uh, cut the uh... oh, there's cooked meat and beer. Damn, could have saved like 200 GP. Well, what can you do? I didn't realize how close it was, but that's fine. Even though I had definitely just said that, but I think we have to go yeah down here actually. Gosh, I'm so excited, guys. This is the newest content, and. Uh... It will be interesting. And also, what I've been finding myself doing is anytime I find an imp, I just kick it down. Also, yeah, you'll notice I have 15 prayer now with uh, not just leveling off of zomb or, uh, goblins, but uh, Restless Ghost gave me like a ton of prayer XP, which is awesome. There he is. So we're hoping for beads. We're hoping for... Oh, come on, get back here, buddy. Come on. Yeah, we're hoping for beads, and we're hoping for probably... Oh my goodness, this man's just disappearing on us. Raccoon. But yeah, we're trying to get uh, we're trying to get some attack levels too. That's a, a definitely a big thing because we don't have any uh, attack at all. We have some strength, which is nice, but uh, yeah, we're literally one better than the first level, so. And yeah, I got a single defense level. Really, we haven't changed too much here, but whereabouts do you go? Don't tell me he went up here. Something tells me he went up there. Oh boy. I mean, I'll, I'll let the character go. I won't click off of this, but uh, something tells me he's by the door of the mine. Which I have to go up there anyways, but if he teleports down again, I'm going to be pretty mad. But yeah, I believe all we have to do is uh, run to here... Go gather her, uh, her members. Where is she? Or where is he? There he is. He did get up here. You're mine. Oh my... We're done. We're done. No. I don't care. That imp can live. If we see him again, though, he's dead. This is, this is why you get attack levels, guys. Also, I just realized that I've absolutely sewered myself by coming up here because I have to go down there to talk to the talk to the lady she's just like right down here maybe that imp will die actually why is this music just popping holy but yeah I've, I've done this quest once before um, I mostly know about the rewards inside the uh, cave but it's actually really nice for our runecrafting, because I think it's the best way to runecraft aside from uh, drop-tricking uh, air talismans. Um, I mean, or yeah, getting it from uh, rune mysteries and then just turning them all into tiaras, but I don't really think that's what I want to do. Uh, might not be a bad idea, and it'd be good to craft some stuff and get uh, some XP for crafting with tiaras, but uh, honestly, that's... Uh, hey, she's the lady for the quest. Where are you going, bud? The uh, imp's right there. Just, oh, okay, you want... Imp, you can live. You seem unreachable at this point. <laughs> she's just looking around? No. Yeah, she's uh, an archaeologist or something. But she's actually absolutely a bandit. Excavation team, what happened? Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. His favorite pub is in Falador. 
Barbarian Village, Falador. I don't remember the other one was, but I think you can do them in any order, but I'm going to go to uh, Barbarian Village just because I think it's the closest. Um, and then we'll probably head over to uh, Fally after that. This imp has just evaded my capture, though. Yeah, I think Bard Village is probably best. Ugh. I believe this is the, if I remember correctly, the body ruin? Oop, no, over here. Or body ult. Excuse me, body altar. And then around here, I think he's down here, like down on this side somewhere. This man's just killing Barbary. Yark! <laughs> yeah, Chekhov, he's just a strong man. You guys about to see me get ripped. Yeah, Willow wants me to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because apparently this man's so strong. Look at him. Oh, damn, he's actually quite strong. <laughs> Look at this man. Atlas is where I'm supposed to go, and I believe this hall. Uh, Pesca, just a barbarian. Yeah, I love how this quest later is like, hey, go go talk to that guy. I, I couldn't bother training you. Gunthor the Brave? I could have sworn he said a name called Atlas. To be found in a long, tall... Yeah, this is the tavern. So apparently there's a guy named Atlas here. And I found him. He is literally right here. Oh, big barbarian. Wait, is there somebody else here? No. Yeah, that's barbarian. I, um, out with it already. Good lord. I love this because it's like, he's so concerned. Yeah. yeah I'll, t I'll start my training workout. I love the, um, I love this because it is literally just, just running in place and training all around RuneScape. But the idea that, like, your character is too shy to talk to this guy who's literally just sitting on the ground or no that's a different guy but like the idea that this atlas guy scares you so much even when you're like a maxed main your guy's like uh i don't know if i can do it man i love it it's quite funny to me also my man's running without even any run energy try to hit me huh yeah look at me look at me look at those hands damn Four, five, six. For a second, I thought I was doing push ups way faster than he was counting. I think I might be. <laughs> we need to be strong. This man's literally just punching me in the fucking face. Holy. Ooh, the long haul, though. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll check that out. Maybe. <laughs> I love the, uh, the tile marker. <laughs> Every strongman was once a beginner who refused to give up. My character is like, yeah, I get it, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta. Maybe I'll just uh, turn that tile off. Yeah, that's pretty... Oh, I, I marked another tile accident. <laughs> you need to push yourself. All the barbarians are like, uh, 94. Damn, my guys are going at it. Imagine you're just an adventure and somebody just says drop and give me a hundred. This is all to prove myself for one strong man to come to me. Well, I'm already strong man. Like, I, I just did 100 push ups. I will not lie to you guys, I'm absolutely vibing to this music. We got the stretchy guards. What are you celebrating for, dude? You just ran through the area back and forth. Yep, now I'm strong man. Never in my life I worked so hard. Oh, I think you earn new emotes, yeah. Yeah, the flex emote. That's huge. Okay, well. That was uh, a montage, alright, and then now I can just go talk to uh, this bad boy. Shackle. Who's literally just flexing. Imagine being the barbarian and like there's just one dude who just will not stop flexing. You're just like, dude, I get it. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have to actually, like, flex in front of him. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> Good lord. He's like, I'm so impressed by your power. Okay, well, I have to go to Falador now. Let's, let's get moving on. 
can you run down through here? If you can, that'd be awesome. Oh, damn, you can. Okay. I never really knew. I mean, I've told you guys in the past I did a Falador Chunk account, but, like... Yeah, I never ran up here. I mean, looking from here, it's pretty obvious, but, like, I couldn't tell beforehand. Over here, I gotta get to the rising sun moon or whatever the hell it's called. It's right over here. I've been to there. That's where you see my wizard mind bombs. And this, this tree patch. Ooh, I've raked so many weeds here. So many. But, let me take a drink here while we walk there. Yeah, so I'm interested to see how um, Baronet Shards work. If you can trade them on the Grand Exchange, or if they're just simply player to player. Um, I mean, obviously, I'd like to get some GP. What's this one called again? I've heard this before. Yeah, Fanfare. Yeah, and I've certainly used this furnace many times. You can see it already highlighted. Yeah, if anyone's wondering, by the way, these... Uh, this was the first chunk I started in all these marked tiles, and frankly, I'm too lazy to turn them off, so you guys are going to have to see them too. Oh no, come on. I have to go talk to this guy, Burnt Off. Or Burnt Of, I think his name is. Oh, come on. Burnt Of. Buy me a drink. I don't know why it might matter. Yeah, every single time they always ask for a drink. He's like, yep, I need a, I need a job. I thought you were a team of archaeologists. Oh yeah, is that where she's calling us? I literally just man that gave this man alcohol and I was all at oh wait, never mind, I need I need rock, paper, scissors, but I really don't think it matters. Looks like you won the first round. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's too drunk to understand. Holy right there, I think I won, so and then the last round you play, and then he's like, Yeah, alright, you win. He's like, man, you got me. <laughs> you gonna say something? Here you go. Thanks, Tina. Yep, this man is just drunk all the time. Like, so many RuneScape people have just like, just alcohol problems. Like, holy. Let's see. So I have to go to Varrock and then Charlie. So yeah, check that out. Oh, I've never been more happy to teleport to Varrock. You don't realize how important teleports are until you don't have them. They are absolutely a lifesaver. Yeah, and I, of course, have talked to Charlie a couple times for these beginner clues, but... Yeah, I had a couple back-to-back uh, -back, uh, steps with him, and... Let's see, I'm looking for Marley, not go get a job. <laughs> Yeah, I'm dealing with a criminal? Yeah, you're dealing with, like, a ton of criminals, man. Like, not not just, like, one or two. You're dealing with, like, four. I love how that dwarf is, like, my crime days are over. I'm gonna go drink. And you really go and play rock, paper, scissors with him. And he's like, you know what? I'll give it one more shot. You're right. You're right. He got me. I'm bringing this man back into a life of crime. And not, not the best play on my part. But it's fine. I also love these, uh... The statues. I wish you could right-click them. They don't even say anything. They're just nothing, but... Let's go. 17 PK fight with a nice woodcutting level. Hmm. On bot hunt. Yes, I told you guys about this before. Yeah, this is a bot that's literally just picking up wheat. Like, <laughs> you can't make this up. He's a bot, and he's picking up meat. Or not meat, wheat. What the hell? <laughs> I'll be honest, I was checking out my cooked meat. I'm, I'm a little hungry right now, guys. And yeah, that, s <laughs> that pixely thing looks exactly what I'm looking for. Or looks exactly like what I'm looking for. Holy. Well, I want to kill that imp, but to be honest, it's not going to happen. I think um, Marley's by the uh, little lever, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I have to... Uh, it's, he's by the yew trees. And then I have to run all the way back to Varrock, so I'm probably just going to teleport. Because I could not be bothered to teleport, plus like, or to walk. Plus, like, 35 XP is not bad at the point where I'm at. Then tells me this man just got a donation. That, Varrock. 
down here. So apparently Marley hangs out around here. Do any of you see a Marley? There you are, buddy. And he's like, please get me a sandwich. Maybe I will get you a sandwich. Do I look like the kind of man that can afford a sandwich? I mean, I have a staff, I guess, but... I don't recall a willow. Nope, definitely. Uh, I'm a little hazy, yeah. Space bar, space bar, space bar. Steak sandwich from Blue Moon Inn in Varrock. Welp, luckily for us, I grabbed some runes. We can teleport right there. The Blue Moon Inn is like right... It's either down here. Yeah, I think it's right here. Ooh. You want to, want to go fishing? Yes, I do. So this always gives you 650 fishing XP. Oh no, I've been stolen. So if anyone has a rune light, I'll show you a little trick that I've done here. Or I've learned at least. He likes it from this spot. Then you just do this, you mark a tile. And then, I mean, to be fair, it's pretty easy to tell which one it is, but... And then you unmark the tile, you know it's up here. Grab a small fishing net. And then, I think it also says, welcome to escape room. Yeah, welcome to escape room. got some uh oh i got the all the uh the uh, music tracks for uh it's already cooked yeah, i already got i got the music tracks for all the random events but i love that this thing's already already cooked honestly i think i want to configure figure left click never mind and then you give it to the fish he's like yeah that's amazing falls asleep enter the portal see you later Bye bye. And the serpent's like, please, man, can I leave? Look at this XP drop. Ooh, 650. And that went from level 1 to level 7 fishing. Honestly, it's a really nice, uh, or it might have been level 2 or something, but like, it's nice because the amount of times I did that in uh, my one chunk suit, I got to level like, I think I want to say I got to level 21 fishing before, which is not bad at all. Like just from random events, like yeah. And here's another drunk NPC. You have to talk. You have to give him beer. You run back here. You talk to the cook. Hey, can I get a steak sandwich? And then he goes, "You want to give it to him, don't you?" Really? No, it's for Marley. I'm not making another meal. At least tell me why you hate him. Ah. He's moved to Edgeville. No way. I won't make food for a low cost meal. Please, I need help. Well, I suppose if you, I'll give you the recipe if you need. Watch your mouth. You use a knife. And then you have some bread. Some beef. It's harder than it sounds. Before I whack you. This man's gonna whack me. Let me tell you the delicate art of using a knife on cooked meat. I love it. And there we go. Steak sandwich. You combine the cooked meat and bread to make a steak sandwich. I'm amazing, guys. I mean, to be honest, this probably tastes gross because it's like I've had this meat in my bag for like what seems like 10, 15 minutes. And then also this bread, now that I think about it. I mean, the bread's probably fine, but like no condiments, no nothing. Like, I, I need some butter on stuff, guys. Imagine a world without butter. Oh, guys, I'm hungry just thinking about it. Holy. Is that a quiz master? No, that's Niles. Quiz ma master ran events have a really good chance of getting, uh, what is it called again? Uh, or yeah, the mystery boss has a high chance at the rare drop table, at least in the members world. I'm not sure how it works in uh, free to play, but all I know is that no matter what I was doing, if I could get a quiz master event, I would click on it immediately. And I loved it. It's always fun to have that kind of like, ooh, what am I going to get? I have to go right in here. And this is, by the way, like, if anyone's not using a GPU plugin, like, whether you're not using the beautiful 117, uh, texture pack, or not even texture pack, just a plugin, like, it looks incredible. Like, I, I, I would quickly turn it on and off, but to be honest, anytime I do, it crashes my computer. And I don't think that's 117's fault. I think that might be my fault. Anywho, moving on. Is it a unicorn? 
I don't even know Unicorn spawned here, and it seems like there's two. I remember how many times a member's wolf I would go run to, uh, I would use my ra Raida's bla Blessing, or whatever, however you call it, and I would go kill a bunch of unicorns, teleport to uh, using Ring of Dueling, and just go back and forth, and I did that like three or five times, depending on how much, uh, whatever my Blessing was. Now I'm a little concerned about this fight. Seeing as though, I, while I am level 18 combat, that is all for magic. I'm a spellcaster, undoubtedly. So. Talk to Marley. Hey, here's your steak sandwich. He's like, yeah. That man must have loved that sandwich. It's not as good as usual. Are, are you kidding me? Dude, I made that with my... I, I made that for you. I mean, I, I said that it would taste bad before, but like, I, I used... Blood, sweat, and tears, man. I'm a little hurt. But yeah, if, if anyone hasn't uh, completed the quest this way, it might be cool to show you guys. I remember the other time I did it, I used um, the Land of Mew, um, or Mu. The, uh, the last time I did it, I, uh, I did the combat. I mean, I don't think the boss is very hard at all. It's like a golem or something, but... And yeah, if anyone's wondering, I'm just skipping through these quests right now. I mean, like, ideally, we'll have them all done by the time uh, we get our bond. Like, it'd be nice for me to maybe get, uh, to get, and it'd be nice to do all the uh, free play quests before I leave, but to be honest, there's a decent amount of them. I mean, Witch's Potion literally is walk in, kill a rat, and give him an Eye of Newt, but it's like 300 magic XP. That wouldn't even be a level. Maybe 500 magic XP? I remember the first time I did uh, Witch's Potion, I tried to do... Uh, or I was trying to get the Witch's House, because I know that jump starts your HP training really quickly, but I ended up using doing Witch's Potion, and I was just so confused. I was like, where is my... Uh, where is my HP experience? I thought Marley was like right here. Did you wander off? Did I wander off? Am I crazy? I could have sworn Marley was like literally right here. Or I think she told me I have to meet her at the area. I spoke with all of them, it took some convincing, but they all. I should head to the ancient ruins on the west side of Ice. Uh, okay. I was right. It's up here. This is the uh, Ice Mountain dungeon. Or really, it's the, uh, the ruins. Damn, that bear actually might kill me, so I should probably be wary. What's a guard doing out here? What's this place? I've never even been here before. I don't think at least. I mean, I can see the uh, roof really tells me much. Oh yeah, and if anyone didn't notice, I got rid of that plugin that uh, when you highlight over a thing, it's a, uh, it shows the over top of the roof. Honestly, I found it to be quite annoying. Oh, come on. I think I might run through here, pull a quick little wilderness jump, and then, oh, the bit, he didn't even, he doesn't even mind. Maybe I'd whack him once just to see if he did care, but I think you can just do this, and provided nobody is literally level 17 or 19, we should be fine. Oh no. And we're fine. The game gets so, like, ominous for a second, it's like, oh no, what's gonna happen? Yeah, the Black Knight Fortress quest will be one that I do eventually, but I do need, or I think I actually have all my quest points I need for it. I believe so at the very least, but and we talk to Willow here and uh, we'll see what happens. And that's everybody. Yeah, I, I love that the uh, the idea of this is is like since obviously it's a free to play quest, your characters are really unsure about things. That I did it after almost getting the quest cape on my very first main account, and oh, it was so funny. Just the idea of like, oh, yep, and he I forgot he's the bomber. What are you doing standing here? You might, you might want to get some cover. Yeah, that's fine. And she's she's fine. She's just standing right there. Um, good lord. But yeah, no, I did another thing and my character is so unsure of himself. Tad too explosive. Well, I think it did the job. Yeah, I mean, you opened it. You did your job. I can't, I can't lie. Oh yeah, and literally his job is just to move the rocks. Uh, hey, check all. I didn't see you move any rocks there. Alright, never mind. You know? Apologies if it took too long. Yeah, it's okay, man. You put your shirt back on. It's fine. It's fine. And he's a uh, 
this would have been nasty. Yeah, he he's a uh, he's their rogue. I do kind of like that that they have like a little party. I can't believe he's hidden away. And they're like, yeah, now we have to kill you. It's not about money. It's about the fact that it's the lost runes. Of course, it's always about the money. I don't get it. We're not a team of archaeologists. We're grave robbers. So this entire time you've been using me? Yeah, it's been pretty damn obvious. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> you were surprisingly easy to convince. I can't let you leave here. Why not? So yeah, I remember when I did this, I was like nearly max combat 2 and everything. I can't have you running and telling the authorities. These guys are probably like 10 or level 10 or something like that. My character could have one-shot each and every one of them, but uh, instead this uh, rebel, quote-unquote, is now Golem. Yeah, we're leaving, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine, I'll take care of this. Boss time! So provided he doesn't kill me immediately, you are supposed to mine these things. He might kill me immediately. He's gonna kill me immediately. I don't even know if I got that one. Oh man, I'm actually gonna die. Run! Don't hit me, please. So, like... I might have made a mistake here. Uh, I'd rather not lose everything, but... I think if I do this, it'll say... Yeah, she tried to kill me, but the Ancient Guardian activated and she had to flee. I'll need to return to it and defeat it. So I just need to go to a bank real quick and grab some food or something, because my defense is not high enough to take the thing on. Unless maybe I can run in there and de-aggro it? Uh, I can't see me safe spotting this. I mean, if I got some magic runes, I could easily just kill it. So you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to teleport home, teleport to Varrock, run back over here. Sorry, guys. A little waste of time here, but I, I think it'll probably be fine. Because, yeah, like, I think probably the play is going to be, uh, just go grab... Oh, yeah, and I, sh I should show you guys my uh, new best in Salt Mage gear I got. It's actually amazing, yeah. More bots... Should just call this Frida bot. There's so many damn bots around. This guy looks amazing. Damn. What are you doing? Get over here. Damn. No, not not you. You're you're probably a bot as well. Dev twenty one. Drop that in there. You know what? Yeah. No, we're we're gonna kill it. I think that'd be way more fun. Grab this, this, this. A wield you. And yeah, so we have uh. Amulet of Magic, and then the Wizard Robes, we have the Van Braces, because there's no downside, we have some leather boots, and so this is the best in slot mage gear for uh, free-to-play. I know it's very barren, it is uh, quite unfortunate to say the least, but should be fine. Um, now we just need to get some food. Cook this raw chicken down there, I think, and I'll eat that. And then honestly, we're, we're just going to save spot it, so it's fine. Grab this. I don't need any defense levels, so we'll do this. I have air runes. So grab one, or I have unlimited fire runes. And this is why you invest in law runes, I tell you guys. Honestly, we're going to teleport Varric right away. I can find a range on the way, I'm sure. Or honestly, maybe like a fire. <laughs> Can't help myself. I'm uh, humming, humming along with these things. Yeah, I'll take those bones, thank you. Yoinkies. Nice little four prayer XP. You know, I could just farm this man and continuously uh, do that, but I'm gonna run in here and grab. Uh, I, I prefer to be full on health. And plus, like. What are the odds of me burning this chicken? There we go. We even got a cooking level. That's pretty huge. And yeah, cooked chicken, very familiar with that. That is the best in slop food for Falador until you unlock imps. And of course, imps will give you, like, right? I suppose if you want to get semantic about it, you can get uh, a pie tin 
which is in the Dwarven Mine. You can get a uh, Pot of Flower from White Knights, which is a 1 in 128 drop. You can use some water on that, and then make a Meat Pie with a Meat, which is another 1 in 128 drop from Imps. So, I think you can get a uh, Pot of Flower from Imp too, but... Or Imps, but... Time to run on back. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions for me or anything like that about like direction of the series or really like anything, I'm happy to uh, happy to answer. I really I read every comment. Obviously, uh, only had a couple of them so far, but uh, you, know, you got to start somewhere, right? Now I'm recording this a little late at night, but I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to record it. Uh, I'm going to try to record some more. I'm going to try to start uh, scheduling some uploads for them to go live at about 10 a.m. So you guys can, you know, be ready for that. But it is going to take some time. i got to get used to this, uh, what would I call it? This, uh, not career, I guess. Because it's certainly not a career so far. But uh, this new lifestyle. I enjoy doing this, though. I certainly do. You know, it, it seems so difficult just to, uh, start up a whole channel and everything like that, but, uh, I mean, I had a channel beforehand, I just quit out on it because I was mostly just making compilations and everything, and, uh, I think everyone knows how YouTube has been with their, uh, terms and conditions, so that was a, a no-go after just a little while, so I abandoned this account and, uh, started playing some RuneScape. Never thought to record it, though. Well, time to run back into the uh, room. No, don't turn around, please. No. And what's best is we actually have a uh, a prayer thing that allows me to get uh, a little bit extra oomph out of these uh, runes. So I use that whenever I'm uh, killing goblins. It's actually a uh, altar next to it. I'll probably get another uh, beginner clue before I start the next episode, actually. I really enjoy uh, kind of what I've been doing recently is I... Uh, I wish this would stop telling me the, uh... Oh, it did. Hey, I'm complaining for nothing. Um, but yeah, what I've been doing recently is I, while I'm waiting for the video to render, I just go and I run and do a beginner clue, because it's super easy to do. Um, the only thing is, is that, like, if I get one where it's like, you have to cook a fish or catch a fish or something like that, I might not do that, just because I don't want to deprive you guys of the levels, but to be honest, i kind of been doing that anyways with the prayer and the magic. So we might end up doing that. I could see that being a possibility if I get a uh, Charlie step. Run. And you're safe spotted. You're not going to hit me, right? Okay, good. That, that. Just in case, I'll step back. And now, we watch. Try to get an action shot, but it's not really working. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Oh, and the screen went black. Oh my god, I'm in sevens. Look at me go. I mean, three doesn't really matter. I also love that this is, yeah, the defender of it, and then you go in here and you realize that there's way stronger ones in there. I want one of them to protect it. Oh no, the Ancient Guardian has fallen. Yeah, I got some sort of reward. From the bag. Oh yeah, I think I steal from them, which honestly is good. Pile of coins, nice. Don't be another monster, and it's actually the only other Imanco or Imancando dwarf. I actually really like this character. And with that, that's 2,000 coins and uh, the access to the ruins of Camdozal. One quest point, but uh, yeah, we're done the quest. And go talk to him, and then I think that's what we're going to call it for the episode. I can't believe it. He's never even talked to anyone any before. I wasn't a monster. It's a guardian of the city. I love the city. I'll do this. I want to talk to him later, probably in the next episode. But just look at this area. Like You have some mining areas. You have fishing areas. So yeah, you can get mining XP. And then smithing XP from uh, or breaking down the Baronite charts. Over here, you can get rune crafting and combat XP. And over here, you can get prayer XP from your fishing and prayer. So it's, it's just super cool. I really like it. So 
anyways that's gonna do it for this episode uh if you have any uh, questions let me know uh but feel free to uh subscribe for new uh new episodes and uh please please give me a like if you can thank you very much and goodbye